All right. I hear with Nicole, right? We are doing a videotape with Nicole. We are doing it in the vehicle for her own safety. We are not showing Nicole's face. We're going to only hear Nicole's story. We are not showing Nicole's face. Good day, Nicole. Hi, good day. How are you? I'm okay. You all right? Yeah. Yeah, talk a little hard. This phone is a mad for Nicole. But you all right, though? Yeah. Nicole, tell me your story. Well, I grew up with my mom. Mm-hmm. And, I, well, she has two children, me and my brother. All right. Well, had. And when I was seven years, my mom put me out because she always tell me I look like my father and stuff. And my father not mind me. And she not working to mind me because my father ain't coming to drop a cent for her. So she put me out. I end up by my neighbor staying. Well, so wait, Max, look, look across here. So when you were seven years old, your mother put you out. Yeah. Because you look like your father. Yeah. And he was not helping. Yeah. And I'm going my neighbors to live. Yeah. I listen. I listen to your talk. Well, when I was by the neighbors living now, well, the neighbor's son, like the feel he could feel my panting. Hmm. Right. So I did. I could not take it no more. I decide to go by my next neighbor when she, in the night only when they sleep and I'll go underneath the shed and sleep and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and well then one of my aunts end up take tell him I can come and live by her. But my aunt's husband now he used to interfere with me too. He used to interfere with me. So I leave there. Your aunt's husband. Yeah. You say interfere to your own aunt's husband. Yeah. Interfere with you. All right. I'll listen in. So I leave there. And at that time, I maybe was like 11 years. 11 years. Yeah. On the streets. I had nowhere to go and nothing to eat. I just, well, I start having sex and money because that was the only way out. That was the only way I could like, get something. So you start having sex for money. Yeah. At age 11. Yeah. All right. I'll listen in. So, then about when I was 14 years, I got pregnant. Mm -hmm. And, well, this fella used to treat my nice from the beginning. I ended up staying by him from the beginning. And then when I get pregnant, he put me out. And my dad is not a child. I is a who is a prostitute. I'm bullying down. He pays some money. At age 14, yeah. that man doing that. All right. Yeah. And... Well, I end up back on the street, pregnant, big belly, I know where to go again, nothing hmm. to eat. I used to go by KFC sometimes, when people leave their box on the table and take the bone and thing, hmm. wherever, me to have a net, wherever, to have in the box. Mm -hmm. Then... So you used to go by KFC and pick up little ends of meat and thing in the box on them? Yeah. At age, how, how old was at that time? I was 14. 14 years ago, yes. alright, so listen then. Yeah. Well, I is 19 years now. 19 well, years. I made a boy, a son. He's five years now. All right. Well, a year back, I meet this other fella. Well, he started. This a... this part interested. I want I want him to hear. Talk harder. This well, part interested. About a year back, I meet this fella. Mhm. Mm well, he's an older fella. He's 49, going on in 50. He used All to right. treat my son good, talk to my and tell me he will help my and thing. Mm -hmm. So, I start to live with, stay with him for a little while. Mm -hmm. Woman come and get pregnant again. And, well, after I get pregnant, it's like the same thing happening over and over again. He put me out. He started to beat my face. This man who old her, who you meet? Yeah, he started to beat me. Yeah, you're pregnant. I'm telling her to beat you. Yeah, beat All me. All right. He started to treat my son. Right? I'm listening to you, Gwede. Put me out and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, I come and I make my daughter. Mm -hmm. She's four months now. Mm -hmm. Well, three months back, my mom died. So I went in, in the funeral to meet my mom to see her for the last time. Mm -hmm. And while I was in the funeral, I saw the same fellow that I have this big girl child for. 
and so your your mother died three months back. Yeah. You went to a funeral. Yeah. The the your last child father here. You met him in the funeral. Yeah. Are listening? Are so listening? I asked him what you doing here. Yeah. So he told me he coming his children mother funeral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I asked him. Well, who children mother were you talking about? This is my mother. What children you talking about? Only me and my, only my myself and my brother. I know my mother house. So what children mother you talking about? Yes, sir. It's there I get to realize that this man who I was living with and had this child with is my father. So wait, we wind that whole back and all this. Sorry for the back and all, but we rewind that. You went to funeral, your mother funeral. Yeah. While in the funeral, yeah. you meet your last child father. Yeah. You ask him where what you doing here? Yeah. He say he come to child mother funeral. funeral. Yeah. And when he explained to you, you get to realize what? He's my father. You get to realize that the man who you have a child with is your father. Yeah. Are listening? Well, within the talk, my aunts and them was the thing, so everybody gets to know because they get to know that that is my child father and that he's also my father so which means like my sister is my daughter hmm. and your daughter is your sister and also yeah, Alice, and everybody start to laugh show my bad face call my who and all prostitute all kind of thing right now i'm ashamed to even go out in the public i want to get a job to help my mind my children and them but i so shame everywhere i go everybody watching my bad face hmm. tell them i'll go sleep with my father but you, might, you did not know that was your father? No. You did not no, know you were seven years old when you leave home? Yeah, and I, nev I never had no father figure around while I was living with my mother. I never knew. Because I see last, my brother bigger than me. Mm -hmm. So, it's in that. My and how your brother take it now that you have a child with his father, which is your father, his father? My brother don't speak to me anymore. He, he don't, don't speak, speak to, to me. He don't. He don't communicate with me in no kind of way when he see me, he just watch my bad I throw with some man thing and cuss me out and tell me it's a hoe and I go with my mother man, everybody saying that. Yeah, so. So, otherwise, right? Yeah, any trend father in your life right now? Any one of them in your life? Any one of them at all? No. No, no them. I don't get no help from nobody. Do you have public assistance? No. Any kind of food card? No, I don't have any. And where is there. right now, Nico? Where are you living right now? Well, I'm staying by some people right now. They're threatening to put me out and stuff. Yeah, because the lady that I'm staying by, she feel that I with her husband. Okay. Because I went and tell her. And at night, her husband grabbed my breast and I went and tell her. So she started to look at me like I trying to tackle her husband. She's threatening to put me out. I have no place to go. My children and them I have no place to carry my children and them. <laughs> yeah, I see a place to rent, but you know I'm not working. I have nothing for my children and them. I and your nothing. baby's only four months. Yeah, he's four months. Four I months. Nothing at all. Yeah, I struggle every day. I have no money to buy nothing for my son to eat. And now that the lady is threatening to come out, I don't know what will happen now. But as as a as a woman, right? No, that you have a child for your father. I want to ask you a personal question. How does it feel in within your soul, like your body? How does you feel knowing that this man is your father and this man is also your child father? How does it feel? Well, it's real hurt, man. It's hurt, man, a lot. Knowing that I never know my father, and then there is the way I get to find out that this is my father, which is also my child father. He said, My lot, he said, My real bad. Sometimes I just have thoughts in my mind like to give up, but just through my children and them, through my children and them, I just hold strong. But hmm. everybody know and it's real shameful. The whole village know. Yeah. Hmm. And sometimes, sometimes, like, if the lady that I stand by say let me go in the grocery and I bounce up anybody they'll be shoo shoo in and say look, look she there she built she had sex with her father, father and stuff and you know I just feel to go back home one time go back where I stay in one time if you shame you shame yeah. so otherwise you are shame of yourself yeah this and this this man your father he never come back around no no 
he just disappear. Yeah. And the first child father, the boy who your son who is five years, he, he don't father no father. No, and I, I don't I don't even self know where he is. I don't even self know where he is. Since he put mouth on thing, I never see him after that. Please. I never see him. How 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 do you feel knowing that your mother your mother never show you your, your father or, or make you be aware of that man is your father do you blame your mother or do you blame yourself who do you blame for this mistake for having a child for a man that is your father who do you blame because my you did not know that was your father yeah. and because of your mother didn't like it you and putting you out and how you were running here and running there she in that time she could have taken that time and make it to know your father but instead she abandoned you and now she's dead and now you are a mother, tell it to Gail that is your father, daughter. I really want to know how does you feel? What would you tell your child when your child gets older? How would you tell your child that? Well, I don't, I don't, I so shame. I don't even think I plan to tell my child that her father died. I, I can't stand the thing that I tell my child that her grandfather is a father. And I don't really blame my mom because she never, she never used to see my father. She never used to see the man to even self get money to from him to mine us. So I don't blame her that she didn't get to tell me who is my father or what. But I just feel real ashamed and embarrassed. So otherwise, you could tell your child that the father die. Yeah. The father die. Yeah. I'm dead. All right. But so you didn't feel nobody wouldn't tell your child that. In time to come, nobody might know you and know the child when she get a little older. Tell the child that she father is she grandfather and everything. This is that curse now, you know, this is that curse that's going to be that's hurt you. And then I was asking ask something. I heard your, your neighbor was telling me that how, when you heard that the man was your father, that you end up in Ward 1. Yeah. End up getting up, like, yeah. tripping off or something, so. Yeah. You trip off. You had a mental breakdown. You had a mental breakdown. Yeah. Well, where I was like when when I heard this, mm -hmm. I remember I had my son already, and, mm -hmm. and now my daughter. So the people started to treat my child bad, while I was in the hospital and saying, "They call him, I come back out now. Everybody's calling my mad woman and the whole and all kind of." Yeah, but you was only nineteen years. You could, yeah, you, you could get up and get a walk. Yes. But what you are telling me is that people as laugh at you, chow talk at you. Yeah, yeah. It's like a it's discrimination. So shame. So yeah. Shame. Yeah. So shame. You just feel shame. Yeah. Knowing that this happened to you. Yeah. Hmm. And this happened just only last year because your child is four months old. Yeah. A baby girl, four months old. Your sister, also your child. Yeah. This is real sad. This is real. This is that story that I didn't. It's all long after before I come up by here because I was like amazed when I hear about the story. I was like, this girl is 19 years old, have a child five years old. Her last child is a girl and it's four months and it's also for her father. All right? Also for. So it come like you become your father, woman, yeah. child, mother, and daughter at a point of time in your life. I don't know if I can go through that. I don't know. I don't know. And I know I have cases where sisters end up with the brothers yeah. because they don't know each other. But a father, it's just a sad thing. I feel it for you. I'm a hard poor to you today. And I hope that somebody hear your voice and help you. Because what you're saying is that you live with my people, right? Yeah. It's not family. And what the woman, because the husband grab your breast yes. and the woman feel you want she man. Yeah. So now they want to put you out. So where would you go when they put you out? Well, I have nowhere to go. I have nowhere else to go right now. I and your brother and you don't talk? No, my brother don't talk to me. I have nowhere to go right now. This is a real sad thing, that sad situation. You have to get some kind of counseling because this is a mental problem. Right? You on any medication, anything like that? Well, it's a stick failure. All right. Sometimes. When the depressant thing. Yeah. 
Because otherwise, your, ch your child, the five years old child, have he get his school book something already? No, he hasn't got anything for school. Nothing yet. as yet, so no. you're seeking a little assistance for school things for yeah. the child. Your hey, daughter have milk and thing? Does she have anything? Well, she, she, ma, the lady has staying by the parts and her milk, but she like almost done already. And now that she's shutting the foot mouth. Yeah, you know she next step yeah. is. Nicole, uh, I don't know what to tell you, Nicole. This is one of the first stories I ever do like this. And I hope somebody out there hear the story and could call you and talk to you and get some kind of counseling or guidance or help so that you're able to know what step to take. You understand? But I do believe you should tell the child that the father did. You understand? Yeah. Still let the child know she father. Sometimes people make mistakes and it's only till after they don't make it, you know it, right? Yeah. You could tell the child who's the child father because somebody else will go out and tell the child, eh? Somebody will tell the child, but you it best it come from your mouth than yeah. anybody else's mouth, right? And yeah. when people call you ho and you make child for your father, and then you just keep your head up high and say nothing, just smile because God knew you did not know the man was your father, right? They did not know the man was your father. It's only when your mother come and die, you say, yeah. in the funeral, you realize that that was your father. Yeah, understand how old a man is so. Well, at the time when I made my child and I get pregnant, he was almost 50 years. Pregnant. But he looked good 50 years. Yeah. He looked good. Nicholas have faith and I hope the story open up a lot of young girls' eyes to be aware that if they don't have fathers at home, be careful who they sleep with because that person could be the brother, the uncle or the father. Nicole, my heart go out to you today. My heart will go out to you. I, I can't pity myself having a child from my father. Any advice would you tell anyone out there? Any young years out there? Any kind of advice? Any advice? About sex? About awareness? Anything at all? Well, the best thing I could say right now is abstain with sex. Sex is not everything. Sex is not everything. Yeah? And unwanted pregnancy right now it's terrible right? mm -hmm. because when you have a child to see about is something else it's not you alone that you're living for now mm -hmm. so and there's plenty of sickness and thing going on out there thank god that i didn't pick, pick up, up none. any but abstain Funny. and wait wait on that person wait on that special person hmm. yeah wait on that person and Sex before marriage. Don't let a man just fool up your head and tell you that I love you and I love you. Love is not everything. Everything and love is not a a saying thing. It's a doing thing. Yeah. So just be safe yeah. and, and strong. So you want your voice to be heard out there. You want somebody to hear your cries, hear your pain, and and come out and help you. Yes. Nicole, thank you very much for coming out here and giving me your story, right? Yeah. May God bless you and continue to guide you, right? Yeah.